Kansas City, it's uh, Julio Bassoni with Bassoni Painting again, and we've been having some questions on deck staining. Fall is uh, right around the corner, and we're trying to squeeze in as much deck as we can. So I figured I'd give you guys some more information on these semi-transparent, true stain finishes, right? So on the last video, we talked about solid color stains. We talked about different types of products, what kind of products I, per I uh, recommend, I prefer. And right now, we're going to be looking at a product that uh, I love, but it's not the product for everybody. So this, this type of stain looks beautiful. It's amazing. It looks like an actual true stain, and the product that we used here was called Ready Seal. And I always confuse it with Flood, but it's called Ready Seal from Spectrum Paint, right? And we're going to go take a look at this deck right here a little closer. And what we used here, the color I believe was called uh, Natural Oak. As you can see here, it's actually stained, so it looks like a true stain finish. So when we say true stain finishes, this is what we're referencing to, how it actually looks stained, it penetrates the wood, it doesn't just sit on the surface. And right here, it looks beautiful right here too. But the only thing is with these types of stains, you have to have brand new wood for it to look beautiful. If you don't have a brand new deck that you just got built, if it's been stained before, or if it has some type of layer underneath it, more than likely this is not gonna be the stain that you're gonna wanna use. This stain right here actually needs to absorb into the wood, so there, there can't be some type of acrylic layers like some stains have that prevent the stain from absorbing into the wood. Because if it doesn't absorb, it's not gonna stay there very long, and in some cases it doesn't ever dry. So you have a tacky, sticky surface, and an oily surface, that you get if there's already been treated with something in the past. Uh, we see this sometimes when we have uh, clear stains or clear sealers put onto the deck. So if you, if you want to protect your deck, I stay away from sealers. I always tell everybody stay away from sealers because it only lasts about a year. But with this true stain finish, you're looking at two to three years. And what happens is the, it just starts to fade. And if you keep up with it every other year, every two years, it'll look just like how it is now. Sometimes it gets a little darker, but as it, as it starts to, uh, to cure, and weather, it gets a little lighter. So it goes back to whatever color you know you choose. But this is what it looks like right here. We're gonna take a look on these stairs because uh, depending on the type of weathering that you have on the wood surface, uh, you tend to have different colors. So right there, you can see that that's a little darker. But if you look at these stairs, the stairs look a little lighter. So you see these floorboards lighter, and then you see this, uh, let's call this a fascia board right here. It looks a little darker. So depending on the type of wood that you have, you'll have a different look and different colors. So colors may always vary. So it's always best to test a spot, see how it looks, and see if you like it. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna see the rest of the floor over here. So this deck was stained about a month ago. So this is what it looks like about a month after. And as you can see, it looks beautiful up here. This is the type of freaking barbecue cookout that you guys are looking for, where all the kids come up and start playing on here and start running around and being crazy. This is the type of stain that you want. Everybody's gonna look at it and say, wow, that looks beautiful, right? And this is that true stain finish. So once again, you're looking at two to three years of coverage. If you keep up with it, you won't have a problem, but if you don't keep up with it and it fades really bad, more than likely you're gonna have to re-sand the whole surface and re-stain it all over again. So you have to strip it, sand it, wash it, and then do it over again. So the main uh, problem here that we run into is that people just don't keep up with their decks or a problem that you run into when you want to use this type of stain and you've already stained your deck prior, it's just not going to be possible because most stains out there, they're acrylic stains, especially water-based stains, where they have an acrylic layer on top that cure over time, but it keeps stain from absorbing to the wood and it keeps water from absorbing to the wood, but it's more like a paint rather than a stain. It only absorbs into the surface, not into the deep, the deep wood fibers like this type of stain would, but they tend to last a little bit longer because they have that acrylic layer. So if you're looking for a stain that's going to last a long time, we generally tend to stay, stick with the uh, solid color stains, and those are beautiful as well. But if you want this true stain finish, the natural stain finish, that it just really brings out the beauty of the wood without covering it and painting over it, this is the type of stain you want to look for. But once again, you got to think about what kind of surface are you dealing with. Has a surface been stained before? Has a surface been uh, sealed before? And all these, these things have different variabilities, right? So there's different variables that apply to every single deck that we stain. So if you have had the stains that have been stained before or decks that have been stained before, then you have to let us know and let your, uh, your contractor or let your uh, uh, painter or your subcontractors know what exactly they're dealing with here. Because if we put a stain on this deck and this deck starts to peel or the stain's just not absorbing, we have to know these things ahead of time so we can plan ahead of time and make sure we give you the best value possible. But if this is what you like, you like what you see, and you want to know how much it'll cost you, you want to know what you can do and what you can't do, or you just need some advice on what you should do, just give us a call.
Astro Julio at 913-215-2130. Once again, that's 913-215-2130. Don't be afraid to give us a call if you need some help, you need some advice. Hey, Julio, what kind of product should I use? Hey, Julio, what's my deck look like? Hey, Julio, come give me a bid. We'll be right there at 913-215-2130.